Man behind the scenes, it is the moment of truth. It's time to mount that to the dozer, mount that in that, and hope it all works. Oh yeah. All right, so we've done everything we can to uh, prep to make this fit. Man, behind the scenes, I was thinking, I know, I know, I know, it's scary. It's yes. scary what I'm thinking, but follow me. Can you follow me on this? Yeah. You following I'll, me? I'll get this stuff out of the way, so. So, if this is all the way up and the plow is all the way up in the boot, it should leave this boot one foot off the ground, right? Right. But this thing has two feet of travel. Yes. And we cannot drop the boot a foot into the concrete. And I want to make sure we have, we can actuate the stroke on that cylinder to make sure we got our travels right. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking before we put this on the dozer, we need to use the ripper to raise the back of the machine at least a foot. That's what you said you were going to do last night when I left. Well, I got sidetracked. <laughs> <laughs> I've noticed you've been getting sidetracked quite a bit if they pay attention in the video. Yeah, well, it, 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 it happens <laughs> easy. I'm not as bad as Wade. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> as bad as Wade. So, I think we need to put something underneath here. Raise that up. I think we just get one more six by six underneath there. It'll probably be enough. What do you think? I think so. I think the less we gotta go up, the better. Well, yeah, I agree with that. I mean, it's not like this thing's a feather or anything. <laughs> All right, let's find some cribbing and get this thing jacked up because the anticipation is killing me. <laughs> All right, flawless plan. Jack stands under ripper, six by sixes under drive. Dozer stays put. Hey, at least we got a built-in jack. That's, that's where I crossed the so What we got? I got uh, this last step's a doozy up here. I still don't have the cab down yet. Ah. Don't mind me, I'm going in. The good news is once you get in the seat, you're there to stay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ripper coming up. Well, that wasn't sketchy at all. No, uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I guess the uh, <clears throat> next thing is to see if we can get that plate back on the ripper here. Uh, what do you think? Lay it down, and we'll just you just want to try to balance it off that one top roller. I said we try to just do it like we did, walk it in. I think if we do that, we can once we get that ear kind of started on there. I think it'll go. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, down she comes. Let's re-situate. You ready? Yep. I don't know how hard that thing's going to flop, so be careful. I got a feeling it's gonna flop down pretty hard. You wanna put a board or something there for it to maybe land on? We got this. I think you're gonna get hurt. <laughs> 
I think you just need to let it go. It's right there. Let me get some gloves and help you. Going down, you ready? Yep. Oh, that's going. That is going nice. All right. We just gotta go straight back now. Yep. We just had a piece of equipment in here to go. I know it. It is. It is right there. Right there. All right. Walking in there with the pry bar, we're just gonna keep going back and forth. No, there, there's no way it's you. Oh, it's on me. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm used to doing the manual labor. <laughs> two pry bars. This would clearly be twice as fast. It would be. be Somebody's got to hold the camera too, oh, yeah. though. That's why you're back to your native job. That's right. Hmm. That one's still going though. We got her tight, bud. Yeah. Took a little bit of finagle one, but this one's lined up pretty good, Aaron. The question is, will the pin go in? Oh, like butter over here. Well, you got your side done yet? Need to go down on your side a little bit. bit. Man, you're close. You want that other, uh, pin here see what you can do with that uh, yeah there you go there you go not too far off got one yeah Oh, uh, that one there, yep. Oh, well, I gotta go up for this one. Maybe have to come down this a little bit more. Oh, boy. I think well, it'll go. I'm you... hitting your ears. Oh, that's the one that's got the, uh, just, there's one that's, got, that's ground on. That's the one that goes in there. And it's on the other one. It's probably the one I put in over here. There's this one. Yeah, this one here's got the grind mark on it. Okay. Oh, hold on. This is a bad game. Oh, it needs to go down just a little bit. You ready? Yep. Boom. All right, so now, are you thinking this back one? Yeah. How close is it? Looks pretty dang close. I missed it. We didn't have to make an adjustment. That pin there slid right in. So we got one pin. We got one pin left to go. It's this one here. Is it gonna go? Come on, baby. Oh, it is close. It is close. Oh, that angle was playing. That was a little snug, but she's in. She's in, she's on. I think this would be a lot easier if it was actually out in the field and the dozer can move and yeah. we weren't trying to do it with a crane, but look at that, look at. Hey. I think it's tight. Yeah. All right, so now we have to get that off the jack stands. That we do. That's gonna be interesting. So what are you thinking? 
I think we can just choke this thing, set it down on the ground, then wield a lifting eye on the top and stand it up. I think so. All right, first thing we need to do is just get it on the ground off the saw horses. We don't need to try to stand it up coming off the saw horses. I'm no. thinking if we just choke it like right here. Mm -hmm. If nothing else, if we're off balance, I think we can manage that side by hand. Yeah. And uh, go from there. So them saw, them poor saw horses are probably saying, thank you. Yeah. It's on the ground safe. Yeah. I said we weld a lift and I on the end down there. Yep. Tilt it up and slide her in. Yeah. I'll tell you this front side's our best place, don't you? Yeah. Like it? I think so. I get a shackle. You got this one on here good enough? We got a few of those welding BBs on the other side. We don't want them to get caught in that thing when we slide it up on there. So Aaron's cleaning them up a little bit and we'll slide her in. <laughs> that thing makes you look really small. <laughs> I'm a pretty big guy. <laughs> I don't know about that. I mean, we thought this was short one on the saw horses and it's taller than you right now. <laughs> I'm trying to make that 5'7. All right, enough, right. Of the, enough of the crap. Let's see if it fits. that ripper up high enough to miss that roller oh it's starting in yeah there you go okay can you right. come down any yeah we gotta miss this point come down and in all right come in all right can you come down at all One more. Oh, I'm gonna have to raise the ripper up like an inch to get it to go over that point, or we're gonna pull that pin out. Does that pin pull out easy? Yes. Ready? Well, I don't know if I can get it back in though because we have to go in here with that roller. Let me just raise the ripper up. Turn it a little bit. 
Turn, turn, turn. Right there. All right, let me raise it up a little bit. All right. Oh, look at that, man, our notch. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> man. <laughs> well, if we get this one in, we should be able to hinge it over to get that one in, right? Yep. All right. So, uh, give me the pin. It's this pin here. It's this roller here. Oh, my goodness. That is... That is scary. There's that one. Gotta find our bolt. Yep. Can you take the crane and go that way? Maybe we can pull it over far enough. Oh yes, it's close. It's close. You can. Oh, oh yeah, I think that's it right there, isn't it? Yep. All right, pin. Roller. Can you reach out. Oh man. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. A... We got this little bit of pressure on it. We need to go that way a little bit more if we can, but we're close. Ah, uh, a little bit more. Oh, that's close. We get a little pry bar. We got it. She's home, baby. She is home. <laughs> hey, do I get my 20,000? Now I have to wait for it to work. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope it works. So in theory, theory, if we take the crane and raise it up and down, it should just slot in there as easy as it can be. Yeah, in theory. You gonna test it? Yeah, I'll test it. I'm gonna come back a little bit. Yeah, come on back. Look at that, look at that. Now, up. Keep on going up. Huh? Keep on going up. That's it. Oh, I see, we got caught right here. Well. Yeah, it ain't gonna take much though. Right there. Okay. Just that side. Grind the wheel, take care of that. Come on down. It's on the floor. That is smooth. All right. That's right. Here? Right there. See that corner oh, up there yeah. on the hip? Yep. It ain't much. Okay. You ready to try it again? Ready to try it again. Man, I am just tickled to death. This was kind of a guess, making that fit in there. And that is, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Yeah, it is. Man, this thing. Almost, it's almost too pretty to use. I know it. Now uh, you gotta remember, we got a quarter inch plate. Quarter inch plate goes so in there, but I, we didn't want to put that plate in there until we knew for sure we were right, so. Yeah. And so, all that quarter inch plate's gonna do is just keep debris from getting down yeah. in there. All right, head her on up, I wanna see what you got. It's just a little snug right there somewhere. Oh! I am an idiot. How hey, the crane's all the way up. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh my <laughs> We should have known there was nothing wrong with what we built. I know. Here, I'll we'll finish you off with a jack stand or yeah. four jack. Oh man. 
All right, Aaron, this is what I think we need to do. I think we need to raise the ripper all the way up. We need to raise the boot up. We need to then lower the boot 24 inches and put a line on there. So we got a mark and then we can lower this whole thing down to figure out our cylinder. Yep. So I can plan. All right, I'm gonna raise the ripper. Plan. All right, back in my jump again. I mean, you got long legs, it should make it a lot easier. This last step's a doozy. <laughs> Now, I'm gonna take that up. First thing I'm gonna do is travel over and get squared up. Yeah, take that on up now. The other thing you can do is you can take that up tight and then we can just add a half inch to our mark. Okay. Nice. Tight. Now. <laughs> what a beast. Got that cleaned off pretty good. I'd say the paint's gonna work now. Yeah. All right, man, behind the scenes. We've had our thinking caps on here for a little bit. And after doing some math, this is our elementary math right here. See that? That's fancy, isn't it? So again, I wish we had the tracks on this thing to confirm heights. But after our known elevations based off what we did, we were figuring the boot was about 10 inches off the ground. Mm -hmm. Nine and three quarter, 10 inches. That'd probably work. I think we'd really like to have 12 would be ideal. So to confirm that, I was able to actually get online and I got a measurement that's the ground clearance, which was from the ground to the belly pan. We were able to confirm that with this and our math lined up. We were nine and a three quarter, 10 inches. So. Hindsight being 2020, we possibly could have mounted the roller box in here a little bit higher, but that wouldn't have worked because that elevation is based off mounting up with this hitch. So we got everything right there. What makes the most logical sense that we knew this was an, a possibility is I think we're gonna notch this out just a little bit farther. So that boot will go up in there a little bit. That's one reason why we didn't go ahead and cap all that off. I don't think we're gonna change this angle right now Let's get that notched out. Let that thing slide up in there. And then let's get a visual on that. And then yep. if we need to adjust that angle, we will. What do you guys think? Or what do you think? You're the only other oh, person I, here. I agree with that, yeah. <clears throat> oh man, long story short, we were just staring back and staring at this thing. <laughs> like it just looks, oh, it just looks awesome. I don't care if it even works or not. It just looks cool. <laughs> All right, let's fire the torch up, cut that little notch out. And uh, are, should we show them what happened outside? Yeah. Look, yeah. not only is it daylight, we got some more of the white stuff. I really need to clean my window. Every time I video out this window, I'm like, you need to clean your window. I'm gonna clean yeah. the window one of these days. All right, we're gonna torch them little notches out. We're gonna double check our height from the floor. And then we're gonna get that cylinder in. Pair of pliers so it don't fall down in there. I got it. Ready? Yep. Got it. Nice. One side done, one side to go. I got it. all right let me see if i can explain this the best i can if this thing was sitting on its tracks from the floor to the belly pan would be 
one foot four, which is 16 inches. Right now it is 23 inches. So if you take 23 minus 16, that's a seven inch difference. He measured from the tip of that to the floor. Right now it's 19. If you minus the seven inch difference, bingo. 12 inches. 12 inches. So we are right where we need to be. Yep. So with that being 12 inches, it's gonna give us at least a five foot plow depth. I think by the time everything gets preloaded down, we're gonna be in the five foot four range. So we're right where we want to be, right where we thought we were gonna be. Uh, so now I think let's uh, lower the crane down, let the boot on the floor. I'm gonna go in there, lower the ripper down until it steps into the notch, opposite way we are now. And we'll see what that cylinder looks like on top. All right, let's see if our spacers work. That's the one I'm not so for sure about. I don't know if that roller will clear it. So here's what it looks like from the top side. I think Aaron explained, we could have put a couple spacers in there and our math did include those spacers. That way we got room to weld a plate in there to cap that off. I got a feeling we're probably gonna have to clip this right here, but before we get carried away with that, I said we get that uh, cylinder hanging from the hoist, mm -hmm. set it up here and um, we can, we can mount that cylinder as high as we want. It's just gonna change how tall these brackets have to be is what it comes yeah. down to. So it, it, do we wanna keep our point or do we wanna clip our point and lower our cylinder down? Decisions, decisions. Yeah, I like that point being high because that's farther in the ground you can go. Well, that's fine. We'll just have to possibly rework our, our brackets up here, which we can do. Um, I say for the giggles of it, let's uh, let's put that cylinder up here, hanging it from the hoist, and see what it looks like. Uh. All right, man. Behind the scenes, this is our last obstacle. We've already slightly modified our bracket here my intentions were to weld it to the side but uh, we're afraid we don't have enough clearance in there to get a good weld so we trim the back bracket a little bit if my math's right this cylinder should fit down between here and there we're going to cut a slot in that bottom piece down there mm -hmm. let this tab go down through it that way you can get a full yes. weld on the bottom yep so we don't have to worry about that and then we'll figure out the brackets on the top, but I got a feeling we're gonna have some pretty tight clearances. You ready? Yep. All right, hold that. Oh man, it's tight. I think it's gonna work though, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's gonna work. We got, man, I think it's gonna work. Let's trace yeah. that puppy out and uh Yep. Now keep in mind whenever this thing's digging and engaging the ground, this is gonna be down out of the way. So we got as long as it fits, it fits. Yep. Let's trace this that. This is pretty well just for travel, correct? Yeah, this here just I mean just yeah, for transport. Transport. Anytime it's engaged in the ground, this is gonna be lowered. I said we trace that thing, let that tab go through. Uh we got to make sure we can get that pin in and out, which I think we can if the... Um, if, if you're right. If that this, points out, yeah. Uh, we can 
and get it out. That thing if should not, end up being a foot below it because we got two foot of travel and that's one foot up in it. So yeah. I think we're good. Whew. Obstacle avoided. I said tracing in kindergarten would never pay off. Look oh, at us there. wrong. Okay. It'd be like a crime scene down there by the time you I get got, done. I think I got about halfway on it. All right, we got enough. Let's praise it up out of there and then yep. we can. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got most of it. So I need to just raise the ripper up now. You should be able to get in there with a the torch, hopefully, and uh, blow that out. And that yeah. tab will slide down through there. Yep. I don't see no flow on that plan. Nope. All right, we end up transferring our mark down here below. Unfortunately, we can't get the torch up there on top to get a good clean cut, and the plaz cutter will not go through three quarters. So Aaron has decided he's going to uh, take one for the team and cut that overhead. Overhead. Yep. You're the right height to get up in there, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> but my roundness is going to play a factor. Play. It's getting pretty tight in there. <laughs> All right. So basically, if you guys can imagine, he's going to cut a hole in that, and it'll come down from the top, but this tab will slide down through there, and if it sticks down through there, he can get weld all the way around it, so we know that tab won't come out of there. And as you guys can see right here, Whenever this is in the up position, we can easily get the pin in and out of that cylinder, so that won't be a problem either. Um, other, than, other than that cylinder being really tight fitting in there, which I don't think is going to be an issue, I think we're golden. Oh, yeah. I think we're golden. Poor Aaron over there. That looks absolutely miserable, I'm not going to lie. Well, I lost my line over here. Oh, hell, you got most of it. Yeah. You want a slide pick? Yeah. Well done, it's a little bit. Alright. Nice. Now, I don't know, I lost my line. You're close. Yeah. You need a little bit off this side and a little bit off that side. Okay. Well, I lost my line over here. Oh, yeah. That fits like a champ, don't it? Yep. Very nice. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. All right, got a tab on the cylinder. You ready to lower her down? Ready. behind the scenes i think what we need to do is uh put our cylinder put our line on our cylinder make sure that gets clearance and if that gets clearance we'll lower this whole thing back down in there and uh see what happens all right you like it i love it all right i got a wrench up here for you you want me to pull the cylinder up out of there or you want to do it in place no i'm not doing i just want to see for can you get a wrench on it up there? Giggles, I wanted to see if I could get the wrench on it. That is better than most uh, engineers have done right there. Oh, I'll get it on up here real easy. That part, there you go. I think it's loose. No, it ain't. 
Oh man, it false does. alarm. You ready? Yep. Oh, we're gonna have all kinds of clearance there, ain't we? Yep. Oh, that is. I'll tell you what. That is perfect. Yep. Wiggle that a little bit. Wiggle it? Yep, there you go. I can understand you if you didn't have a mouthful of Tootsie Rolls. Well, I gotta have my Tootsie Rolls. You're getting there. Almost there. You're getting close. Keep wiggling. Alright, you think you're down to a range. Is that a 15 16 Maybe oh, bigger. I didn't even think about probably the same size, is it? Nope, it's bigger. You're gonna need a different wrench. Bottom side on, top side going in. What you buy the two couplers for? Uh, those go, I didn't have those yesterday. They're nipples to go on the back of the machine. We need to pull those fittings off and redo that. Uh, I used a uh, pipe fitting yesterday just because it's what I had. And I wanted to get, um, make sure I got the right fittings. They ordered them for me while I was in town. 16th. That's seven eighths actually. Seven eighths. Got it. Other hose should go on here like this. Oh man, this is looking good. Looking good. You know, you are like an engineer. Easy. And we're cussing words. Well, I'm just saying, you engineered it, and I do what I do on the job. Start whacking away at what the engineer has. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, boy. You know. All right, we got uh, one more connection to make back down yonder there. Right, I say we, uh, we got our hoses on. I say we lower this thing down again and uh, get our hoses hooked up to the machine and see what kind of chaos we can ensue. Hey, good news. I rounded you up some help. <laughs> That's about time. Sure. Who's that guy? Yeah, I mean, how did you get that many people in that camera? <laughs> Holy cow. Look, he's, he, he liked me so much, he's even wearing the same hat as me. Uh, you know, great minds think alike. He, he is Mr. SOT Metalworks, if anybody's sure wondering. So. I had to come take the supervision role here. <laughs> he, he's a little metalworking guy himself. I wanted to come over and check it out. So it's, uh, we got our hands on, we got our hoses on. Let's make a connection. You got three metalworking guys in here. Today. I know. You're counting me as a metalworking guy? That is so nice. No, I'm going to count you. <laughs> <laughs> the other guy's a computer guy today. Yeah, he's a computer guy today. All right, let's hook these hoses up and see if this valve that we put on this dozer actually works. How's that sound? Uh, they came out of a cylinder. But yeah, we'll, we'll save them. <clears throat> we got my side hooked up. Get this uh, Tw kink out of there. Yeah. Make it weird. Get you back. All right. Why am I reaching I got all my across? Side in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, I'm ready. <laughs> all right, now it's time to do some math and some thinking. All right, Junior's over there slaving away, grinding. Yeah. He's doing a good job. That was your job. That was your job. I love Junior. And I am not happy because I could not wait for a minute that I could be going to be grinding to walk down and slaving at my What's going on? They probably can't even hear you. <laughs> all right, here is the bracket we made, or the bracket I drew out. We got our high. We got our offset, we got our pin. I say we blow this thing out and hope it works. We do. 
Last time I used this thing, it did yeah. not go as planned. Well, I noticed when you took something out. Yeah, it didn't like me. I'll let you operate this time. much better than last time. I just hope you've got the well, right size hole. I asked you to make sure that was the right size before we got started. We're not convinced we bought the right size hole. It made me nervous. I heard it looked small out of Aaron's <laughs> mouth, so I had to come check this out. <laughs> Man, that is not even close. That was a you know what? That was a I bet you a bit that would be exactly right is right here. Huh, if you look that at that. That is a major flaw in our plan. Let's go ahead and cut this thing out and we'll put it in the drill press and go old school. Man, I thought we had something going on there. All right, we're gonna go ahead and torch this out and then we're gonna put that in the drill press and finish up that hole since somebody grabbed the wrong size bit. Yeah, you, uh, your point yeah somebody grabbed the wrong size bit. That's a masterpiece right there. Before we uh, go any farther with this, you want to put it up there and see if it works? Whoa, that's hot! Yeah, probably more. Hot? You hold it up there, or you want me to? You got to figure it I was going to get up on the very top. I mean, I'm, my confidence level's through the roof right now. Is it? Yeah. That's good. Confidence level is through the roof right now. Man, look at Junior polishing. Junior's making us look good. Somebody got to pick up y'all's flats. You can tell he's the sign maker out of the bunch. <laughs> oh, that, that's, that's definitely not, definitely not it. Keep turning. Keep turning. I'll stand it up. There you go. That should be down. So the bottom of this should be on about that line right there if it's all the way up. Real close that line, but uh, that'll work. If it's down a little bit farther, it's not gonna hurt anything. It's just that much more to weld. Yeah, I gotta pull that strap out. There you go. If our hole was the right size, it'd make all the difference in the world. So, oh yes, that's gonna work. Okay, all, all we gotta do is uh, we gotta do some cleanup on this. Yep. Getting ready to fix your mistake here, bud. My mistake. Hey, I confirmed that this is the right size bit. Junior seen it. If this wasn't recorded, nobody'd ever know. It is a little stiff. This ain't like. Whoa. with the craftsman here man i mean <laughs> i think the one inch holes all the craftsman wants keep going just gotta oh, let her yeah. cut don't force yeah. it 
I got halfway through with the cordless drill. No, you did. I did. Quit lying. Don't let me stop this thing and flip it over. After we get it drilled out, I'll let you flip, us up, flip it over and then you can show us how far you got. We're through. Sweet. I just got to put it on. All right. Oh, yes, that is much better. See if I can get that pin in up there, and we'll find a way to kind of get it centered on this thing. Oh, very nice. Oh, that is... That is absolutely perfect. You guys see that? I just gotta get a center mark on here. We pull that thing back. I mean, it is it is perfect. I'm talking perfect. You ready to tack this thing together? Well, oh, I am more than ready. Like it's good. Now this line, did you offset it so we can just line no, the, the, edge the up? line's oh, the center. Dead center, huh? Line's dead center. Man, you I'm know, I'm good enough. I can eyeball that. A good mechanic, a good pimp. Would have had it one side. You are solely mistaken line. me because I am none of those things. So I like that a lot, Aaron. Got that bevel to get good weld in there. I'm gonna make a plate to go on the bottom of here to do the same thing. But should transfer all that load out here to this one and take it off this, right? Should, yes. And the whole purpose of this is we can't let this go down any farther because it'll hit the roller when it goes down. So this here should come really close to the bottom and out on that roller once it's fully actuated. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yep. So that's all three quarters steel. It looks good, man. I don't know. I like it. That cylinder fits in there like a glove. Man. I like it. Well, her off. I'm going to go help. Better, better, I'm going to go help Junior make the other, the other bracket. All right. Now, I could get used to this. Junior's over here cutting. Aaron's up there welding. I'm just standing here recording. Don't get lazy on this <laughs> <laughs> No complaints right now. So that plate that Junior's cutting is the plate we'll put down there on the bottom of that thing. I think we're gonna be in, I think we're gonna have it. I think we're gonna have it. All right, moment of truth. Hey, we got, before we test Last this, piece. before we test this thing, we gotta remember that there's only two Jack's holding that bottom tab in. Oh, yeah, I forgot all about that. <laughs> we get all excited and pop that thing up out of there. Oh, all right. I would blame you. Yeah, I know you would. Last piece. I can't really see where I'm centered. Look, I might have cut that, but I didn't measure it, so if it don't fit. <laughs> so I need to come my way some. Should be right at the edge of yours. I'm about a quarter inch in, or about an eighth in. Okay, then we need to go. Ah, I'm about an eighth in. All right, Tiger. All right, eyeballs. Yep, got two of them. Huh? Got two oh. of them. Yeah. Sometimes I don't know if they know how to work. But now, the only thing is, we want to check this measurement on both sides to make sure we're level. Junior's kind of eyeballing us, it'll be close. That measurement there, I got three and a half. And I've got three and a quarter. So we're close, I just need to. Yeah, I know. You told me to tack it. I mean, you're pretty doggone close. We're not building a clock here. Yeah. Three and a quarter. Yep, three and a quarter, right on the money. Oh, and you were making fun of my hammer. 
That looks good. By the time we get that hopper on top of there and get that part braced off, I don't know. Mm -hmm. The only thing we gotta worry about now is maybe it rolling. I don't know, but we can brace it off that hopper if we need to. Yeah, our feeder. So I say throw some uh, throw some weld on our tab down there. Let's hop in the seat and see if this thing works. All right. Well, they're on. Well, you guys ready to see what we can tear up? I'm ready. I want to see it working. I think it's the uh, it's the moment of truth. It is the moment of truth. Not gonna lie, I'm a little hey, bit I'll nervous. Video while you touch levers, <laughs> and then that way I'm out of. I'm I'm a little bit I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> Y'all got a lot of work in this. Yeah. If it does work, he said. I just made twenty thousand. Oh. In about three days. Oh. Yeah. That's oh. what management said. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Has management ever lied to you before? No. <laughs> Well, man, behind the scenes, it's only a matter of time before we had our first failure on this project. Yeah. It could be a lot worse. Yeah. This is not total defeat. This is just a little bit of a redirection. So we made a few mistakes. One is we did not take the time to clean up all of our welding mess on this thing. And this thing actually got caught going up and down through there, which put extra stress on this, which wasn't finished. And now we got a bin here. And Junior worked so hard on grinding that thing. Can I get yeah, it I'm grinding nothing. They make grinding wheels every day. <laughs> <laughs> so I think what we decided to do instead of trying to salvage this one We're gonna cut this one off right here leave all this structure I'm gonna lay out a new one. That's gonna add some extra strength right here and uh, We're gonna put that on there. We're not gonna hook that cylinder back up until we get this feeder box built I'm just happy my welds didn't bust. That's what I thought when I first seen it moving. I thought, oh my God, my weld just fell off. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, so. Your, uh, your weld is plenty strong, bud. No concerns there whatsoever. When this but, cylinder lifts, it kind of torques on those rollers a little bit. And also I want to point out that nothing down here is greased. The rollers need to be greased and we're actually gonna grease this thing here. But I don't want to do any of that until after we paint it. So we're not, this is kind of worst case scenario. So I'm gonna let you cut that off. I'm gonna lay out a new ear and we'll try this again, round two. All right, so here, there is the old bracket. The point of failure was right in here. Here is the new bracket. You guys can obviously see how much more steel we're leaving right here. You have the right bit in the drill. I'm gonna get this cut out. We'll get it put on. Well, uh, just like that, we have a new bracket. Hey, that's a way. Good news, I uh, drilled the hole the right, size. the right size the first time. After I found you the right bit to put in that back drill. Incorrect, but nice try. <laughs> hey, my question, my only question is, it wasn't a complete fail, so do I still get my 20,000? <laughs> 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 it did work, it went up and down. Well, and I told you it so. went up. 
down and then it wouldn't go back out. <laughs> but I, we, we've got that problem figured out. I don't out. think we got it figured out. Uh, I don't know who's supposed to be cleaning the slide and the beams up after I get done. Well, I mean, it only makes logical sense the guy that put them there would be the guy cleaning them up. I don't know how to run a grinder. <laughs> I don't squeeze the trigger. I got you on camera while I go running. Oh, I'll shoot. <laughs> Well, let's uh, let's try it again. Yep. That's a little bit on the warm side. You drilled the hole the right size, right? Yeah. Okay. He said he did. Yeah, it fits like a glove. Oh yeah. Okay. Now, how do we make sure we are straight up and down back here? Four and seven eighths. So that. So why don't you tack it in that very back corner? Well, and then like we'll, the front is lining up really good. That's yeah, far. We're kind of floating there a little bit. Yeah. But we need to hinge we the need, front around a little bit. We, need, we got five inches here. I don't care about that, Junior. I want to make sure we're plumb off the uh, right, the so side we, here. I'm I'm kind of angry. We might put a tack right there in the corner, and then we'll. Then we can kind of kind of we can hinge off your tack. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yep. So evidently our first one was off. Well, that don't necessarily mean we're centered. If you want to tap out over a little bit. See the front, what I was doing was lining the front up on this one yeah. here. I that's think, what I was I getting I think at. we're close enough. I think we're close enough, Aaron, for what we're doing. Um, I'd say get a tack, yeah, nope. Uh, yeah, tack in the back, is that what we said? Mm -hmm. No fire. <laughs> 20 minutes get her lined up, boys, and we got no fire. I got you, man. I got you. How about now? Gas on. Oh, my goodness. Good call. All right. I think by the time we get that uh, feeder box on top of there, yeah. we ain't gonna have to worry about that at all. So it's worth doing it's right. It's worth playing with it till we get it. I done. know. I can't <laughs> help myself. If it's worth doing right, it's worth doing twice, right? <laughs> That's it. That's right. All right, we're gonna let Aaron get that welded off and not touch it until we get the rest of the pieces on. Well, you ready to try it? No. Nope. <laughs> Come on. After you pull them rollers out. Clean them rollers real good. I am game for anything. You guys are no fun. <sighs> Don't well, take two steps forward and one step back. You come work. I'm dying. I'm dying to try. <laughs> I am dying to try. Have to admit that bracket does look a little beefier. Yeah, and it uh, and it is. And we got some very tight tolerances down there, but I think they're going to work. But if you guys look at that bottom roller down there, we got all kinds of torch and welding slag on it. So basically, at this point, we need to pull this thing back out. Clean that all up, which we're gonna do anyways for paint. We're pretty confident we're in good shape. So I think we are going to wrap this video up right here. Sounds good. We are, we are back to square one here. These guys won't let me do it. So huge thanks to Junior SOT Metalworks. Hey, I didn't do a whole lot. Grinder fit my hands. You, you did a lot of grinding. So go check out his channel. <laughs> Man behind the scenes always. We're gonna call tonight. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give her a big thumbs up. Well, make sure you don't miss out on the rest of the excitement here. Consider subscribing. It might be worth your time. Either way, hope we'll catch you on the next one. Tell them bye. Good night, guys.